I'm settling back in for my short business trip to Boca and I decided I'm going to do the Hammerhead race tomorrow. It's the one that's in Ocala at Santos. And I decided to do it when I was sitting in two days of business meetings in Boca Raton. You know, I was thinking when I was uh, in Boca, if anybody ever gives you a hard time about owning a nice bike or two or three, just have them go to a place like Boca where you see rows and rows of multi-million dollar yachts. One of them costs $150,000 per week to charter base price. Then you add on your expenses on top of that. You're probably talking $200,000 to charter the boat for the week. Crazy. And then some of these yachts, like most of them have a couple jet skis just kind of like sitting on the top, like extra accessories. Like we would put an extra water bottle cage on our bike. They just throw on a $5,000 sea do. So I don't know. I just thought about that when I was thinking about all the discussion that's gone on with the price of bikes. And anyway, so I'm going to race tomorrow. The Hammerhead is a, it's a 25 mile course and there's a 25 mile option, 50 mile option and a hundred mile option. So this morning I did like a two hour kind of easy spin, a couple little efforts. I found that with endurance races that I feel better if I can get out for a couple day, a couple hours the day before the race. I just feel better. I feel like my carbohydrate stores are opened up and I'm ready to ready to do the race the next day. And I took a couple days off. I had to because of, I was in meetings all day for two days. So yeah, I was you know, pretty rested, got my two hours spin. So we'll see how it goes. It's been forever since I've done an endurance race. Just like the cross country race I did a few weeks ago that I said I didn't train for at all. Uh, this is the same way. That one turned out pretty good since I got the win, but uh, this is an endurance race, a whole different ball game. The key with endurance races that I found for me is don't redline it. Whenever you push hard into the red zone in an endurance race, you're gonna be hurting in about an hour or two. So this one, I think it's gonna take about three and a half to four hours will be my time to finish. I really thought about riding the plus bike uh, but I'm going to ride, I'm planning on riding the Niner because there's a, a pretty good amount of fire road on this course. I would say on the 25 mile option, I'm just taking a wild guess here, maybe four or five miles of dirt road, fire road kind of type riding. So that's where the, the regular 29er wheels are going to do good. However, there is like a 40% chance of rain. It was 80, then it went down to 20, now it's 40. But I was thinking, with the plus bike, that would be a great opportunity to race the plus bike if it's raining for a couple of reasons. One, I just don't want to get like dirt and mud in the pivots of my Niner. But uh, also, uh, the course it has some pretty uh, technical lime rock type stuff. And that stuff gets like ice when it's wet. So if it looks, looks like it may rain, I actually may race the plus bike. So we'll see. So I'm just going to check the stands fluid in my Niner and get the chain lubed up and then it's ready to go. And it's my birthday weekend. So yesterday was my birthday. Uh, it's always nice when you turn one year older to do an event like a 50 mile mountain bike race. All right, so let's do a little prep on the Niner. Get it ready to roll for tomorrow. And then I'm going to go out to dinner with the family to celebrate the birthday. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. Driving to the race, had to get up at 5 a.m. The race starts at 8, it's about an hour drive. That's a little bit too early to get up for a voluntary event. Nine o'clock start time would have been nice. Oh well, I'm already thinking about what time I can go to bed tonight. Another car with bikes. Right, here we go. Had a little dusting of rain this morning and then it's not supposed to rain again until like two o'clock. So I'm gonna ride the Niner today. It's going to be pretty darn fast on this course. All right, here we go. Rolling start on the motorcycle.
we pay money to feel like we've been hit by a truck. <laughs> I'm hurting. Uh, that was a good race. Um, I actually rode hard the entire race. Uh, super fun single track. Got a little sandy on the second lap. Um, saw a bunch of people I knew, some guys from the cyclocross season, guys from the hometown. So it was fun. Let me uh, let me see how I did as far as my my time. I have no idea how I uh, how I did as far as my place. Um, probably post results in a little while. Need to chill out, change clothes. But yeah, everything hurts. <laughs> Quads, triceps, lower back, neck. But man, I'm really glad I flipped my stem up a few weeks ago on that Niner. And by the way, the Niner did awesome in that race. Um, God, it's a fun bike. Uh, that course was perfect for the Niner. Or the Niner was perfect for the course, I should probably say. Uh, but it did really well, just super agile. Some really tight stuff, some just wide open 25 mile an hour stuff. Uh, really great course. I uh, got caught in a lot of traffic in the first lap, but the second lap I was able to just flow pretty much the whole lap. Rode with a guy that was doing the 100, man, he stayed on my wheel, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I, I can't imagine doing that again. So uh, I did the 50. And uh, all right, let, me, let me see what my time was. All right, so. According to Strava, three hours and 39 minutes, 46.2. I think it was a little more than that. It was so tight. I think the Garmin just didn't pick up every foot of that trail. Um, average speed, it says 12.9. I think it was a little more than that because uh, I, I think that the uh, the full mileage didn't didn't get clocked. Elevation, 1,433 feet. Not a whole lot of climbing, but some steep stuff. Enough to burn the legs. Time to go change clothes and then check the results. All right, so I think I got sixth place in that race. They only had the first lap uh, results done, but I don't think positions changed after the first lap. <clears throat> Somewhere fifth, sixth, seventh, around there, which, you know, for training 10 hours a week and doing an endurance race, I'm pleased with it. You know, I felt like I pushed pretty hard. You know, I, like I said, I got caught behind some traffic in the beginning of the race and just couldn't really open it up in the beginning and the guys that were in front were just pulling ahead. Anyway, gonna recover a couple days this week and get back to testing the Plus bike. I'm excited about it. Probably pick it back up on Wednesday. Thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one.